please join us in the Little Area of the Park. Over on the left hand side is our car. First here getting built. As we do, please remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, and legs. Wait, there's the safari the thing. There's the safari thing. You're more than welcome to take photos, but you want to go for a seated position. That's why I'm going to let you see over to your right hand side with those tan horns. Our arcade buffalo. Weighing in at 1,500 pounds, Cape Buffalo are quite fierce. They can take up to seven kilogram lines to take down one angry Cape Buffalo. Also to the right hand side, those zebra that you see are our great zebra. They're one of the very few zebra species whose stripes go all the way around. And they're the most often photographed of the zebra species. Also to the right hand side, those small sea animals that you see there are the impala. And Paula off the run in zigzag formations and jump over one another in order to avoid their predator. <laughs> On the left hand side, those large tan animals that you see are our eland antelope. These antelope can weigh up to a ton, but don't let their sides fool you. They can jump nearly eight feet in the air from a near standing position. <laughs> Elephants and white rhinos. Rhino rally is included with the cost of general admission, and it's okay to pick up the walkway to the night railway train station. And they just keep doing that until they end up being put up, which is going to be sometime around nine o'clock. But they are the reticulated giraffe. They will actually stand 18 feet tall. They're the tallest of all land mammals. They see 360 degrees at one time. They actually see in color, which is somewhat strange for animals of that size. From this point on, please stand up to the GMC to exit from the train. We are now on the party. Absolutely gorgeous, they're a medium brown color and they have vertical stripes up and down their body. On the left hand side of the train you can see some white rhinoceros over there. The white rhinoceros are in back of that tree that we're going by. White rhinoceros happen. It used to be called wide rhinos because the uh, W I D E, and the reason for that is because their lower jaw is very wide. Actually, through the years, they got translated to mean wide ry white rhino, and there's nothing white about them. If they don't see very well. They can actually run at speeds of about 30 miles an hour. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be running 30 miles an hour, and I want to be able to see about eight feet in front of me. 
mountain zebras live in the mountains, and because of that fact, in order, in order for them to go up and down the mountain trails, they have smaller hoofs than most other zebras. Now, on the right-hand side of the train, you can turn around and see some uh, wildebeest. Wildebeest actually are not the McDonald's, the Serengeti, which a lot of people think they are, but they are attacked an awful lot by predators. And that's why they travel in groups of 1,000 or more. Also on the right hand side of the train you can see some ostrich. The ostrich actually will get to be eight feet tall and a two-toed flightless bird. The train, you can also get to see life. They walk through some tracks as well as determined by how many of these came way up and out. It was said to be sacred, which tells me that they must be holy cows. And at the same time, they were kept for their milk, not for their meat. 